This is a tutorial on how you would set up a DHT11 or DHT22 sensor to an Arduino. And in this case, I've got the DHT11, which is blue, but you could use the same method to set up uh, the DHT22, which is the white one. Uh, so, it's a pretty straightforward setup. You've got four pins coming out of your sensor. And I'll try to zoom up in that. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. It's still early in the morning and I'm groggy. But, so you've got your first pin on the left there. And you connect that up to the 5 volts on the Arduino. And then you connect a 10k ohm resistor between the first pin and the second one. And we're moving left to right here and then you connect the second pin uh, following the resistor up to pin number two on the Arduino and then your third pin you actually don't do anything for you just leave that alone and then your fourth pin you connect up to ground on the Arduino and so it's pretty straightforward I've got a diagram for you and I got this from Adafruit Learning Systems, and if you can't see it, I'll post a link in the videos uh, so it's a little more clear. But there you go, you've got pin 1 going to 5 volts, pin 2 out of the sensor going to pin 2 on the Arduino, pin 3 you just ignore, and pin 4 connects to ground on the Arduino. And your first pin is your voltage carrying currents, 3 to 5 volts power. Your second pin is your data out. And your fourth pin is ground. And then uh, that's pretty much it. So you just need your sensor. Uh, the hardest part is finding your 10k ohm resistor out of the 100 resistors you probably have. And then so there's two different types, the DHT11 and the DHT22. The 11 is what I have, it's a bit cheaper, and the DHT22 is actually a little more accurate, so I may look into getting that in the future. But okay, so software wise, and I'll post the links to all this uh, in the comments. So once this is set up, working in your IDE, um, it should read out something like this. So right now it's reading the humidity is 56% uh, which it's a little rainy out today so that makes sense and the temperature is a nice 25 degrees Celsius and uh, to get this set up uh, once the code is all working you just go to tools and then serial monitor and that's how you'll actually view uh, the output coming out from uh, the Arduino and that's pretty much it and if you're curious what this moon is in the background that's actually IO and uh, it's one of my favorite backgrounds okay that is basically the setup thank you and have an excellent day